Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the innovations that have shaped our modern world. In our last journey, we ventured back to 1810 to uncover the revolutionary invention of the tin can by Peter Duran, a breakthrough that forever changed the way we preserve and transport food. Today, we're moving forward in time to 1824, to explore another groundbreaking material that has been instrumental in building the structures around us, Portland cement. Created by Joseph Aspden, this invention not only laid the foundation for modern architecture but also cemented its place in history as a building block of our civilization. Join us as we mix the past with the present, exploring how Aspden's Portland cement became the cornerstone of construction and how its legacy continues to hold strong in the buildings we inhabit today. Stay tuned as we pore over the details of this fascinating story, setting the stage for a world built to last. Born in December 1778, in Leeds, England, Joseph Aspden's early life was set against the backdrop of the Industrial Revolution, a period that witnessed unparalleled advancements in technology and industry. Despite the scant details about his education, it's clear that Aspden's upbringing in a rapidly industrializing Britain played a crucial role in shaping his inventive spirit. Joseph Aspden's journey before his monumental invention was marked by humble beginnings. He started his career as a bricklayer and later on, ascended to the position of a mason. His work in the building trade provided him with first-hand experience and insights into the materials and methods of construction prevalent during his time. It was this deep engagement with the materials of his trade that sparked his interest in creating a better, more durable form of cement. Family life for Aspden was typical of the era. He married Mary Fotherby in 1811, and together, they had several children, including his son William Aspden, who would later follow in his father's footsteps and contribute to the development of cement. It's believed that the family environment was one of curiosity and experimentation, with Joseph's inventive pursuits likely influencing his children. Before his invention, Aspden's life was a blend of manual labor and a relentless quest for improvement. Living through the Industrial Revolution, he was part of a society that was rapidly changing and eager for new materials and technologies that could advance construction and architecture. It was this environment, combined with his personal experience and experimentation, that led Joseph Aspden to patent Portland cement in 1824, forever changing the landscape of construction. In the early 19th century, construction materials were limited, and builders often relied on traditional lime mortar, which had been used for centuries. However, this material had its drawbacks, including slow setting times and poor water resistance. It was within this context that Joseph Aspden, an English bricklayer and mason, made a discovery that would revolutionize construction forever, Portland cement. Before Joseph Aspden's invention of Portland cement in 1824, the construction industry relied heavily on a variety of building materials, each with its own limitations. Aspden's innovation fundamentally transformed construction practices, setting a new standard for durability, versatility, and efficiency. Here's an overview of the construction landscape before Portland cement and how Aspden's invention changed it. For centuries, the primary binding material used in construction was lime mortar, made by mixing water with lime. This mixture was obtained by heating limestone, calcium carbonate, to produce quicklime, calcium oxide, which was then mixed with water to create slaked lime, calcium hydroxide, before sand was added to make mortar. Lime mortar had been used since ancient times, valued for its workability and ability to breathe, allowing moisture to escape from structures, thus preventing dampness and damage. However, lime mortar had significant drawbacks, weakness and slow setting. Lime mortar was relatively weak in compressive strength and took a long time to set, especially in wet conditions or underwater, limiting its use in environments exposed to moisture. Lack of durability. While suitable for some applications, lime mortar was not as durable as needed for more demanding construction, leading to structures that were vulnerable to weathering and decay over time. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, natural cements began to be used. These were made by burning naturally occurring deposits of limestone and clay. While these cements were a step forward, offering faster setting times and greater strength than lime mortar, 
They still varied greatly in quality and performance due to the inconsistent nature of the raw materials. Joseph Aspden's invention of Portland cement addressed the weaknesses of lime mortar and natural cements by introducing a material that was strong, durable, and consistent. His process of calcining limestone with clay in a kiln at high temperatures, and then grinding the resultant clinker to a fine powder, created a binding material that was unparalleled at the time. Key changes and advances were, Portland cement set more quickly than lime mortar and natural cements and attained higher strength, making it suitable for use in a wide range of construction projects, including those in challenging environments. New cement backquotes resistance to water and weathering marked a significant advancement, enabling the construction of more durable buildings, bridges, and other structures, including those in maritime settings. The standardized production process of Portland cement ensured a consistent quality, which was not achievable with the naturally occurring materials used for natural cements. This consistency allowed for predictable performance, facilitating engineering and architectural advancements. Aspden's Portland cement quickly became adopted worldwide, transforming construction practices on a global scale. Its versatility led to innovations in concrete technology, significantly expanding the possibilities for construction and design. Joseph Aspden's invention of Portland cement had a profound impact on his time, catalyzing a series of inspirations, inventions, and advancements in construction and engineering. It was not merely a material innovation, it was a cornerstone that supported the burgeoning industrial era, enabling infrastructure and architectural developments previously unattainable. Here's how Aspden's invention influenced his time and the innovations it inspired. With its superior strength, durability, and setting properties, Portland cement became a key material in the expansion of the 19th century infrastructure. It facilitated the construction of roads, bridges, tunnels, and railways that were essential for the Industrial Revolution, allowing for more efficient transportation of goods and people. This connectivity was crucial for economic growth and the expansion of cities. Portland cement allowed architects and engineers to push the boundaries of design, leading to the construction of buildings, monuments, and public works that were not only structurally sound but also more ambitious in scale and scope. The material's versatility and strength enabled the advent of new architectural styles and the realization of concepts such as the skyscraper, which became symbolic of modern urban landscapes. Aspden cement was fundamental in the development of modern concrete. Adding aggregates to Portland cement created concrete, a composite material that combined the best attributes of each component. This innovation led to the construction of dams, ports, and massive industrial complexes, showcasing concrete's versatility and durability. The reliability and strength of Portland cement inspired improvements in building techniques, including reinforced concrete where metal rods or bars are embedded in concrete to take advantage of the material's tensile strength. This technique, pioneered in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, revolutionized construction, allowing for the creation of structures that were both strong and flexible, resistant to bending and breaking. Aspden's invention laid the groundwork for the standardization of construction materials and methods, leading to safer and more efficient building practices worldwide. Portland Cement's widespread adoption necessitated the development of international standards, ensuring that the material's quality and performance could be relied upon regardless of where it was produced or used. The durability of Portland Cement allowed for the construction of infrastructure in diverse environments, from underwater tunnels to skyscrapers in earthquake-prone regions. This adaptability inspired further research into materials that could withstand specific environmental challenges, leading to innovations in construction materials designed for specific climates and conditions. The proliferation of Portland cement contributed significantly to economic development by facilitating the construction of commercial and industrial facilities, housing, and transportation networks. It also played a role in social change, as improved infrastructure and new architectural possibilities influenced urban development, living conditions, and the public's interaction with built environments. Joseph Aspden's Portland cement was a key enabler of the modern world's built environment. 
Its invention not only transformed the construction industry but also inspired a wave of innovation and creativity that has continued to evolve over the centuries. The foundations laid by Aspden's work have enabled countless structures that define our landscapes, support our economies, and enhance our lives. Portland cement remains a testament to human ingenuity, its impact echoing through the innovations it has inspired and the infrastructures it has made possible. The invention and patenting of Portland cement had a significant impact on Joseph Aspden's life, both professionally and personally. As the inventor of one of the most important building materials of the 19th century and beyond, Aspden's contributions to the construction industry are undeniable. However, the effects of his invention on his own life were mixed, reflecting both the challenges and triumphs of pioneering new technologies. When Joseph Aspden patented Portland cement in 1824, he secured his place in history as the inventor of a material that would revolutionize construction. The patent was a critical step in protecting his invention, allowing him some control over its production and use. However, the immediate financial gains from the patent were not substantial. The construction industry was slow to adopt Portland cement, partly due to the existing reliance on traditional materials and practices. Aspden attempted to commercialize his invention by setting up a cement manufacturing plant. While he did achieve some degree of success, his business ventures did not make him wealthy. The manufacturing process of Portland cement was improved and optimized over time, and these advancements were often credited to others, including his son William Aspden, who made significant modifications to the original formula, leading to what is known as modern Portland cement. Although Aspden's invention did not bring him immediate fame or fortune, his contribution to the construction industry has been increasingly recognized over time. The significance of Portland cement became more apparent as its use became widespread, transforming construction practices globally. Aspden's legacy is cemented in the history of construction materials. He is acknowledged as the inventor of Portland cement, even though the product underwent further development after his initial patent. His work laid the groundwork for the modern cement industry, a legacy that outlives the financial and professional challenges he faced during his lifetime. Joseph Aspden's family, particularly his son William, continued to be involved in the cement industry, further developing and improving upon his initial invention. This family involvement ensured that the Aspden name remained associated with the advancement of cement technology, even if the direct financial benefits were not substantial during Joseph's lifetime. Aspden's story is one of innovation, persistence, and the challenges that often accompany pioneering new technologies. His life reflects the journey of many inventors whose contributions may not be fully appreciated in their time but whose impact becomes undeniable in the long term. As we conclude our exploration of Joseph Aspden's revolutionary Portland cement, we've witnessed how a single innovation can construct the backbone of our modern world. The legacy of Aspden's cement stretches across cities and stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Yet, the road of innovation is long and winding. Next, we venture onto the paths that connect us all, Macadam Roads. Spearheaded by John Loudon Macadam, this method transformed the very ground we travel on, paving the way for the modern, durable roads that underpin our daily journeys. Ready for more stories of innovation that shaped our present? Join us on this continuous journey of discovery. If you enjoyed today's episode and are eager for the next chapter on Macadam Roads, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. Your support inspires us to keep exploring and sharing the marvels of engineering and innovation. Until next time, stay curious and keep building your knowledge, one episode at a time.